Bad news eats Akpabio. As primates, iodine drops. Unexpected bombshell. Reviews untold calamity awaiting Senate President. Bad news eats Akpabio. As primates, iodine drops. Unexpected bombshell. Reviews untold calamity awaiting Senate President. Primate Ayodele drops unexpected prophecy revealing untold calamity awaiting the Senate President Akpabio. To my dear listeners, kindly stay tuned as I read today's news. The leader of INRI Evangelical Spiritual Church, Primate Elijah Ayodele, has issued a warning regarding a potential political up- upheaval aimed at Senate President Godswill Akpabio. On Saturday, the prominent clarity cautioned that Akpabio could face a united opposition from his fellow lawmakers, primarily due to his controversial statement and alleged inability to manage his words. In a video shared on his social media platform, Primate Ayodele expressed concern over how Akpabio's remarks could erode respect for the Senate. According to him, the Senate may soon experience internal divisions with the possibility of Akpabio facing removal as Senate president. Akpabio must be careful because they would soon gang up to remove him if he doesn't manage his statement, Ayodele warned. He emphasized that Akpabio's behavior would not sit well with other senators, particularly those who represent the people's interests. The cleric further predicted a division within the Senate, blaming it on what he described as Akpabio's incompetence. There will be segregation in the Senate, which will be on the account of Akpabio's incompetence, he added. Primate Ardele went on to suggest that Akpabio's actions could pave the way for his own downfall. He believes that despite Akpabio's role as the Senate president, which Ardele described as mostly a government mouthpiece, his leadership might lead to a chaotic an ineffective legislative body. This Senate will not be able to change anything. Just wait for a rowdy session, the prophet concluded. Primate Ardele's predictions have often generated public interest, as he is known for making bold statements regarding political and societal issues in Nigeria. With the Senate currently navigating a range of legislative challenges, is one in raises questions about the future of Akpabio's leadership and the potential impact on the stability of Nigerian's legislative process. As the political landscape continues to evolve, it remains to be seen whether Akpabio will heed the prophet's warning 
or face the predicted opposition within the Senate. So my dear listeners, now we've come to the end of our today's news. And now before I go, well, rightly as um, Akpabio has said, that very soon there will still be a gang on um, Akpabio on his immediate removal. To be honest, I, I suggest that should happen with immediate effect. Because as it is, I do not understand the situation whereby we have leaders in this country and yet we, there won't be changes. There is no benefit. There is no advantages of having leaders in this country. They are not doing anything in the interest of the people they are serving. I do not understand because I believe even if the, let's say, even if the president can't see it all, as the city's president, you have almost everything that is happening in the country. You have people that can give you, give you information. And as it is, I suggest the, pre, the Senate president should be the one passing information to the president itself. Why are you the Senate president? All they know, all they care about is their own selfish interest. Caring about how to increase their own salary, caring about how to how to spend how, how to increase years before 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 the years of of, of their retirement. That's what I'm called for. It is re, it is re, it is really it is it is really sad in our heart about the way these people decide. You know, not having the interest of people in mind. All they care is just about their selfish interest, how they eat, how they increase their own money. It is really uncalled for and it 